Hi guys, so welcome to Saturday Night Special. Thank you for staying with us throughout this week. I do hope you are inspired and motivated. And we really, th mm, we really talked about breaking ties with our old self. And I really want to read a piece I did last year in my features in writing, was it? Fundamentals of Writing class. I do hope you like it. And then afterwards, we'll have a little chat about it, yeah? So this one is Luminous Bloom. I found her that night. It was dark outside. The rain must have been pouring because I still remember its tumultuous pelting as the drops assaulted every surface it could find. The smell of moist earth hits my nose and the floor underneath chilled my bare feet. I loved being indoors during this weather and I would have sighed in concert with the earth being washed clean if it wasn't for her. She was kneeling on the floor with her hands covering her face as she rocked back and forth. Her pain was evident as even the thunderous sounds outside could not suppress her sobs. I hugged her tightly. The silence like a comforting blanket fell around us. When she had dried her face, I observed her with curious scrutiny. The smile she forced told much about her character, and I could not wait to find out who she was. After that night, we became close friends. We spent an awful lot of time together. Even so, I still vividly remember the day I asked her about that night. Her smile suddenly drooped. Her smooth caramel skin turned dark. She bit her lips the way she did when she is stressed. But her, and her attractive face twisted with pain. Come on, I prompted. You need to face your demons. She twisted her piano slender finger and fingers and faked a smile that was barely good enough to reach a shallow dimple on her left cheek that I'd come to love. She sighed heavily. Easier said than done. She rasped as her voice dipped to an even lower octave than I was used to. She closed her eyes and I could almost see the moisture dancing on her long black lashes. The short version of it is, I'd just broken up with my boyfriend of two years. I know what you're thinking. If I broke up with him, then why was I crying? I admit it was a toxic relationship, but it still hurt more than anything I'd ever done. She bowed her head and sighed. Her black curls bobbed to her, sh her shaking shoulders. I reached out only to find out she wasn't crying. Her face buoyed with some measure of relief. Her smile returned. That was easier than I thought it would be. She told me I'm the light to her darkness, though I don't see how. She's one of the most genuine persons I know always has a smile for everyone a greeting a gift some love to share i'm surprised she doesn't have more friends but she told me she was tired of being heinously betrayed so she only chose a few the other day she started liking somebody else a boy i, I smelled trouble on him from a mile away like rancid food that stayed out the fridge refrigerator for too long she went in like a blind fool. I was there when she came back. Her heart, her red heart spat blood that trailed behind her. It was tore open and I could see it taking its final breath. The thumb of its rhythm slowed, almost to a halt. So I worked feverishly to put it back, all the pieces back into place. I know it would never be the same, but I have to try. I have to hear her loud, obnoxious laughing, to see her pout when she doesn't get her own way. I need to see the fire in her eyes. I must stay, save her from herself. I want to hear her sing again, the type of singing that made my soul stir, or to see her get lost in this novel or that. Or even to see her curve sway to the beat of music. 
She used to get so excited over a trip the, to the beach where she could just lounge about staring at the azure seraline sapphire hues that dominated the sea. Or maybe just find joys in the movies that made her cry her eyes out. Ah, uh, what I want for her most, what I want for her most is a sugar coated, chocolate bloated, strawberry blend, cherry on top happiness. The one that blossoms from within, not without, to drive away her primordial darkness. I want her to be happy. We're friends again. She promised she would always be my friend. I like that promise. I tried to fix her back the way she was after that night. It won't be the same, but she's getting better. She's a strong one. I can see her light like a luminous blue. Now we're together. The truth, I am she and she is me. All right, so that was Luminous Blue. I wrote it last year, I think. This was probably my favorite piece from the class. We wrote about 10 of them. And uh, it was really, if you figured it out by now, it was really my, me addressing the older version of myself. So you would think it's two friends, but it's actually my newer version finding my older version and trying to merge the two of them together. I don't know if you if you understand or get that, but it was from that perspective I wrote. I wrote almost in the third person, but also from the first person, like two different persons in one. So I do hope you enjoy that. That was my journey of becoming the newer, better version of me. It was that moment in time when I found out that I could be better, I could do better, and. There are times when I really do want myself to go back to the girl that was mild and sweet and, you know, but I've, I think I've found a way to actually have the two of them together, to be strong, independent, to be a force to be reckoned with and also no times to be mild and sweet as well. And if it makes any sense at all to you, I know you also have your own journey of how you became who you are today. And you look back and you say, oh, I miss these characteristics about what I used to do and how I was. But that's, that's life, that's growth, that's progress. So this was my story. And you can always share yours in the comment section below. I do hope you enjoyed it and have yourself a wonderful day.